Okay. We can run into food and we can shrink. We need to check and see if we have shrunk down to nothing. So I'm going to go to my other code. I'm going to go to, let's see, tick, maybe spoil food, check food. I think I did this in check food. Uh, no, has grown, has shrunk, is is dead. Ah, it's in the is dead. So let's do this. I think is dead. We have is out of bounds, is on self, and I would like to have, um, I'm going to do some stuff on the fly here, has shrunk to nothing, so we're going to need the has shrunk to nothing function, and that was below is on, ah, whatever, let's just put it anywhere, has shrunk to nothing, and we're going to return if the snake dot parts dot length is less than one. So if you have shrunk down to the point where you don't even have one element, then you have shrunk to nothing. So if we have that, then um, we wanna say, if has shrunk to nothing, or any of these. And the reason I'm putting these in parentheses is this I believe this will short circuit. It means if this is false, or this is true, it won't even bother, JavaScript won't bother checking anything on the other side of the or, because we don't need to, it already knows that it's true. And I don't want to check if we're out of bounds if we've shrunk to nothing, because our snake won't have a head. So we'll just say if has shrunk to nothing, then uh, that won't happen, this won't happen, but we will have, um, Let's see, Shrake, uh, so what I said was snake has shriveled up and died. So that's our error that we're gonna have. If has shrunk to nothing, error strings push, push snake shriveled up and died. And we'll put that in the error and we'll return true that you're dead. And I think that might be enough. Let's try that. Let's do this. Uh, this might take, oh, so let's just go eat some spoiled food and it's not, um, poise, it won't turn into poison yet, so we have time. Okay, cannot destructure property X outside of undefined. So somewhere we've gotten rid of our last snake part, but we're still trying to get um, that, and it's at is outside bounds. So let's go figure out is outside. <clears throat> ah, yes. No, okay, I did this totally wrong. This is not... Uh, I can get rid of those. What I want is here, I want to do that. And then I want to say, I don't want to check these if I've shrunk to nothing. So if not has shrunk to nothing, then I want to do these checks. I don't need to do these checks if, um, if it's shrunk to nothing. And then I can check any of those. So let's try that for some food to spoil. I could probably crank up the food spoiling. And at this point, I could probably add a slider right on the page to change some of these variables during the game so I don't have to go and edit them in the config. Oh, now I have to, now I have to get two of them. So there we go. There's one, two. Okay, yep. Snake shriveled up and died. Game over. So that works. All right, so let's do... Uh, I think we have time. Let's um, add some changing the spoiled food to be poisonous. So let's go maybe poison. That's in tick, tick, maybe spoiled food, maybe poison. And let's grab that function. Uh, maybe spoil food, maybe poison. Uh, again, we're probably pretty familiar with math.random at this point. We're going to need a chance for food to spoil. Let's grab that. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want 
Chance Poison. Chance. Oh, okay. So what I did was I used, um, yeah, um, had a little mental breakdown there. Um, I'm just reusing the chance food spoil. So whatever the chance it is to turn to poison, it's the same chance that one of the um, spoiled food will turn to poison. So random spoiled food point, I want to get a uh, random element, which, which we already have, and I'm going to use the spoiled food array. If we got something back from random element, then we will call remove spoiled food, which I don't know if we have that. Remove spoiled food. Let's grab that. And I put that below remove food. Remove food. Oh, we already have removed spoiled food. So let's go back to there. Maybe poison remove. Yeah, because if you land on spoiled food, you shrink. And then we'll push under the poison array. So we're going to need a poison array. Let's go back up to the top where we have our food, spoiled food, and some poison array. Go back to where we were. And we're going to push that spoiled. So we're going to take that we're going to remove the spoiled food from the random uh, from from the spoiled food array and we're going to put it onto the poison array. So we're just moving it from one array to another the same as we did with um, spoiled food. We just removed it from food and we put it onto spoiled food. Now we're removing it from spoiled food and we're putting it onto the poison list. So that's going to be and so now we're do we have do we add that to tick? Yep, maybe poison. So now Let's add the what happens when we run into poison. Poison. Maybe remove poison. Maybe poison. Uh, is dead. There we go. Let's go back to is dead. And is uh, we don't have a has shrunk to nothing, so let's do let has shrunk to nothing equals false. And actually, we could just do here. We'll just set it right away. Has shrunk to nothing, has shrunk to nothing. And then just to make that a little clearer, let's put these above. And that way we can see here, let has shrunk to nothing. And then we'll just check it here. Um, and we could just put has shrunk to nothing right in this thing, but nah. Actually, yeah, let's, let's just do that. No, because we need to save it because we'll need it down here as well. Okay, so uh, we're checking if we're, uh, we need to check if we're on poison. So let's do that. We'll put that in here. If we haven't shrunk to nothing, we can check if we're on poison. So we're going to need a function for that. And that is going to be uh, near is on spoil. Maybe add food. Is on snake. Is on food is on poison. Where are we checking if we're on? Let's see. I'm curious where we're checking if we're on spoiled food. If has shrunk. Oh, if has shrunk just calls is on instead of saying. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, so is on poison could just say, yeah, anyways, whatever, we'll leave it. So check and see if we're on poison. Go back here, is on poison. So now we need to check or, oh, don't need that, is on poison. And then if we are on poison, dead, then we need to set our error message. So if we have on poison, then we're going to push snake eight poison and we're going to ruin true for you are dead. 
So let's try. Uh, let's try that. Let's see. Let's see what bugs we have. Because there's quite often going to be bugs. So let's grow a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't want to wait around. So let's change our things here to chance to spoil and to have poison. Let's change that to 50% chance. Let's reset this. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, so we're not redrawing. We're not drawing our our spoiled food. We ran into this with the spoiled food again. So let's go get uh, in our draw function. We need to draw our poison. Draw, draw spoiled food. Draw poison. And I bet you this is going to be just very similar to drawing the spoiled food. So let's just go to there. Draw poison. Yep, we're just going to map over the poison array and call draw cell on whatever point was for each point in that array. We'll we'll call um, draw cell with poison color. So let's go get our poison color and our snake color, food color, spoiled food color, some poison color. Now let's try that. So this should spoil. Oh, there we go. Poison. There we go. Snake ate poison. So you can't hit the red ones. All right, so we can die if we're poisoned, we can die if we go up the screen, we can die if we run into ourselves, and we can die if we shrink down to nothing. That's enough for that video.